mind seeking here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to wait a little bit closer because it's going to pull up the name. It's going to pull out. Or damage the, uh, the port. <laughs> is there no hasty my port in the new laptop? There is. Oh, it's not out of the way of thing. Oh, Seeker Strength just went live. Everyone's tuning in. Max tuning. <clears throat> I wonder, are the judges like, no, the snatch is one where it goes straight over here. <laughs> Five of them on a jury. Come on, like, yeah. Come on. So the jury don't even give the vote. Like it's the three referees give the red lights, isn't it? Yeah. And then the jury make the decision. Jeez, it's been forty years since the last one of them touched the barbell. It's a good chance some of them have never even lifted. Yeah. That is craziness. Do I think it's la she's last camp? Um it's certainly going to be his last Olympics, I would say, considering what we've heard about the injuries. I'm going to ask Dr. Seth specifically about those injuries and see what they're apparently just been mounting. I think the biggest problem with, or the biggest tragedy with she is that we never really saw him lift his best lifts that he could have lifted. You know, he always won so casually. <clears throat> there was never really an opportunity for us to see him lift some, what he was truly capable of, you know. So now is like a bad representation of she. But, you know, we could have seen she snatch well into the, you know, or, well, early 70s, maybe 72 or 73. And if he's power cleaning, what was it, the 190 or something in competition, you know, if you were to look at a power clean, a really high, or not a high, a good ratio would be like 85%. So, you know, 190s putting him at kind of 215, 220. So if you even went super conservative with that and saying he was power cleaning 90% of his best clean, which would be super high for a, an elite weightlifter, we're looking still well into the late 200s. Um, you know, if uh, the 75 kilo world record was was it Angel Gidev or something, he did like 215.5 at 75 kilos. So I think we could have seen she getting very close to that similar kind of body weight. So is there still a chance maybe he does well here today against the Olympics? Very possibly, but I don't know if today's competition is that. Um, so it's a real shame because, like with Lasha, we were talking about this before. That Lasher retiring now isn't a tragedy. You know, Lasher has yeah. moved the needle so much; he's done so many crazy things. You're like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, it's I don't feel tragic no. about it. I think Lasher still had a fantastic career, <clears throat> even though he didn't have a massive amount of competition surrounding him. Latter years he did, I suppose, but he was still winning. You know, yeah. He Lasher is arguably going to go down in history as the best weightlifter ever. Yeah, yeah. A lot of debate with that, I suppose, in bodyweight sports. Yeah, but. But still, there even to be in that, even to be in that conversation is crazy. Fourteen in the A group. Ritvers, Rizki, Mirko, Li Sangyang, Shi Zhang, Luis Mascuera, insane class. Back to Hayu, um, Wirafon, Ratmas. Do you want to turn that down small actually? On your laptop. Yeah. If you can reach it from there. Or if you do FN and lower it there, maybe. We really need a producer. Oh, yeah, it's going down. I think people would be shocked if they saw our studio. And they never will. And they never will. <clears throat> it's good. Oh, look. I'm not saying you should do this, but some people can't or don't want to pay, but DMAS LPO was streaming the 67s. Obviously, the only place you can watch this is on Waves House TV, and they do a great job, and I think it's very cheap. Yeah, Was it like $9.99 a month? Um, so I think it's good value, but obviously people's circumstances are different, so 
DMAS LPO was streaming the last session. So if you are stuck on Instagram, it might be D I M A S L P O. So you might stream it again later. Um, Very strange setup with the crowd there. Did you see that? No. So there's seats in front. Half of it is VIP, which is fancy seats, and then half of it isn't. The crowd is basically empty, and then there's like a band of dressed up crowd behind it that look like they're kind of paid supporters. She stopped rubbing your knee. Oh, no. Steph never travels to the camps. Although he has, Actually, he has two young kids now. He's a newborn a few months ago, so maybe... I assume he'll be at the Olympics. Possibly. See the VIP section there? The big couches. And then these are the people I was talking about. They're kind of dressed up. That's that frog thing about it. I keep seeing that on like reels and stuff. <clears throat> is it like the... It's a turtle is the mascot for the competition. A sea turtle. I don't know. Who knows? How many world records will be broken in the session? I'm going to say a clean and jerk and a total, maybe. I don't know. Are these not world standards? Well, no, some have world records oh, and some there? have world standards. Okay, yeah. okay. Does anyone know what the world record is currently? I can't think of it. So it's 204, the clean and jerk for this. Well, clean and jerk. What's the snatch? Where can you see the session? So I think the only place you can see it is on Weightlifting House. Uh, so weightlifthinghouse.tv. Uh, again, I think it's like 10 euro a month. So like $12 or something or whatever your local currency is. Um, yeah. I suppose some people have a problem with paying for it. But in my experience, what's this? On my 13th year watching weightlifting, it was either pirate it or pay Eurosport. Like there was never... You could never watch Europeans or Worlds or anything. To be honest, we wouldn't have even been 10 years ago. You couldn't have watched no. this World Cup. There'd be nowhere to stream it. You would have saw some random videos. You might have seen a YouTube clip. So as far as I'm concerned, it is, uh, you know, someone's, it's a business. You know, someone's got to make money. But I, I guess I can see arguments from both sides. The other thing is, previously it would have been on Eurosport or something like that and you're paying for a cable service mm -hmm. that's not available in most countries. And I think that was the big thing for us is like Eurosport, you'd have to have Sky TV or one of those to, to be able to watch it. And then you're not able to watch it back. I think this is the best possible situation. The only thing better would be that the competition would pay weightlifting house to put it out there for free for the the sake of building the profile of the competition. Well, they put up all the sessions after on YouTube, like pretty much everything they've done. Yeah. They've been putting up everything after. So yeah, 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 yeah. And they do it pretty soon after. Now, obviously, that's in their own interest, but it's also in the interest of the sport. Yeah. So I wouldn't begrudge them. And they put up a lot of those training hall stuff behind the scenes on their way to House TV. And, you know, ATG have a Patreon. They do that stuff, you know, so it wouldn't be... Um. Is there a chance China not sending Lee or Tian with Carlos and all the other sniffing gold? I think it really depends on how poorly she does today or how well he does and how well he's done in training and then how well the, the lads do. Tian Tao looks to be in amazing shape. It's kind of hard to get a gauge on Lee Dian because all his lifts kind of move the same speed and he hasn't done any massive training hall lifts. They're like 160, 200. So it is. Uh, it all depends really on Xi's performance here. So... Like it's still, uh, there's it is still kind of all up in the air. Yeah, there's no, there's no obvious answer to it yet. I think Lee Leo Huang Hua Giga Chad is probably the most secure. So Lee Fabin still won on the total there, but Hampton Morris does look to be going pretty well. And you don't want to be losing on the total in the clean and jerk. I'd be much happier as a coach mm. if someone lost in the snatch, and but then you could make up those big clean and jerks, you know, because you only get small margins in snatching when you're winning, but. You can usually, if you're good at clean and jerking, you can make up those margins. You know, an extra five kilos on the clean and jerk is not as big a deal as an extra five kilos on a snatch. You know, so so it's a it's a tough decision for Team China. You know, um. <clears throat> so just to synchronize this for everybody who's watching, if yours is slightly off, we'll wait till the timer pops up or wait till we can see one. It's nice. nice. Very easy. So one of the two Turkish lifters. So Yusuf Fehmi. Um, 
Turkish people love bread with their food, and I'm all about that. I eat bread and yogurt. Just bread with everything. It's like so good, such good bread as well. Just a plate of bread. <clears throat> Always freshly made bread. Yeah. You know, like it's not like a sliced up roll or something. Yeah. So we can see the timer in the background. It's just oh no, it's just that again. Um, Baku, Baku, the Korean South Korean lifter is just walking out. Yeah, Bak Ju Hoyu is just walking out. Uh, I don't see any timer. His coach is cupping his boobs and gentle hip caress. Coach, that's the coach we met. Absolute gent. Really nice guy. Um, white belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Does Korean wrestling as well, which is kind of like judo. Kind of sound a bit like sumo wrestling, but you grab the belt and there's a bit more throws. Uh, super nice guy. An absolutely massive human being. Enormous. When you meet him in person, he is gigantic. We saw back hit his nuts on a clean. Very close, that. very close to world record at the class at the time, and then he came back and made it. And really yeah, nice guys, okay. love singing as well, karaoke. But the coach, super nice, fed us some garlic paste. Yeah, Fitz loved it. They were giving it to us as a joke, being like, "Oh, it's going to be horrendous," and we're bringing skittles out afterwards. And I was mm. like, "Oh, this is lovely." Oh no, I'm happy for those jokes. Yeah, that's a back no lift. Back is an unlikely choice compared to um, Lee Sang Young, just because Lee's clean jerk mm -hmm. is so good. But back snatching, arguably technically a bit better. It's tough for South Korea to pick someone to send as well. My God. So on the replay. Yeah. Okay, so we've, we're a fan. Gabriel tells me this is his favorite lifter. Really? Yeah, we're a fan. Wichuma, Thailand. Does someone even know what that frog is about? I keep seeing it. I asked it earlier in the live stream, but the frog on the, I see it on reels, same shadow boxing, skateboarding. It's fucking hilarious. Is Ooh. it all that one mascot? <laughs> it's the same costume. Like, that's just a meme. That's not a. Oh. I see it in China and stuff. We're fun as Yacht, isn't he? Yeah. You know what? Wait a second. It's great. It's for knowing what flags belong to which countries, mm -hmm. just random places. Yeah. And obviously, Thailand's not, you know, random, but. Yeah, you'd never <clears> really know. You know what? Al that. Albania, Armenia, those kind of random places. From... I feel like the Olympics is great for that as well. Everyone's wearing the Luz Oh, oh yeah. nice. He loves doing hang snatches in his training. Like heavy hang snatches. That was sick. So did um, Mohamed Ehab, didn't he? A lot of block work. Mohamed Ehab loved doing everything. Yeah, he did, to be fair. A lot of variation. You know, it's a really interesting hallmark of Thai way to see technique is static starts slightly lower than parallel hips and then a really strong back position but they go super static mm. and it does make for a lot of reach producibility but you do lose some of that stretch shortening cycle at the start so you don't get as much force or speed but it is uh it's a hallmark of their kind of technique in, is in spain they can't see it oh no venezuelan lifter has some of the best glute development i've ever seen in a weightlifter hey hey keep it in your pants my good god if someone posts a a stream or a LinkedIn, Instagram or something, if someone's streaming it, there's no problem. We're not going to delete it, obviously. I just think you can't put in a URL. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, if you can, uh, so Jimmy. put in like a profile name or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So work away. An Instagram streaming. But don't click off our stream, obviously. Nice. nice. Venezuela? Yeah. Yes. All is so colorful. Julio Meora. So I'm squatting 240 for reps. Good so that's God. Easy reps. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, very close face-to-face -face contact with the coach before he went out on there. I think the more out of shape a coach is, there's a higher correlation, an inverse correlation with how good that lifter is going to be. Yes. But then you stuff like I also Team China. Like there's a direct correlation between the amount of cigarettes they smoke and how good a coach they are. Yeah. yeah. Now, as that said, he doesn't smoke cigarettes, the Korean coach, and he's a good coach. Not that we know, though. Not that we know. Maybe he does smoke cigarettes. A secret smoker. They love smoking cigarettes in South Korea. Yeah. Is that the TN logo, girl? The three downward arrows. I don't know. What? Where is it? On the on his singlet there and on the t-shirt. Not sure. We're at the TN training center. It's amazing. What if we'd hide categories? <clears throat> That's quite interesting, David Smith. Um, instead of weight categories. Yeah. See, the problem is you just get those people, like, if anyone remembers, oh, is that going to get red lighted? No, there's no way that'll get red lighted. I think that was an elbow. It looked like shoulder, but I think they might see elbow. Yeah. Oh, no. Red lights. Oh, no, green lights. Yeah. Good, Good lift, yeah. 
That's, I'm sorry, Neil, but that would be an absolute travesty. He looks uncomfy. Mm. Such wonderful skin. It's uh, missing the first snatch puts you in a predicament, like doesn't it? Sometimes it gives you a kick up the hole as well, though. It does, yeah. That would probably have gotten red lighted. Hopefully, the jury say nothing. Here we go. Uh, hey, Miles did point out that in elite sport, weight classes are basically high classes. Yeah. Yeah, you do get to see random people on a, like, it's not really a spectrum. It's more of a grouping, like, but then yeah. you'll get something, like the 56 kilo, is it Tim from Vietnam, Tim Quack something or Quan? He was really tall for the 56 kilo, but he snatched, like, a world record. And um, he was probably five foot six. Hey, that was tall for 56. Yeah. I already can see this lift in my mind. I think he's gonna. I think he's, I think he's gonna, gonna make it. He's I don't know. Shaky. I, oh, I, that's no. why I was worried. I didn't want to say it out loud, but oh no! So the the big thing with Lee Sang Yang style of training that really high volume pulling, high volume pressing, high volume squats, high volume lifting. Yeah, is that you get really good barbell speed. So if you get super strong, you get very robust. You get really strong muscles. You get strong through those positions. Mm -hmm. You can move the barbell fast, but ultimately. The most important thing in weightlifting is sport specific ability, but technical ability, <clears throat> which are one and the same. Yeah. So, you know, Rat Matt probably doesn't train like that. I think it's fair to say. No one yeah. trains really like Lee Sang Yang, to be fair. I also feel like it really doesn't lead <clears throat> to very good competition peak. Yeah, for sure. It really doesn't. And your technical ability then to suffer. Yeah. Or rather, see, the thing is, if you do that in some parts of your training and then you go really specific, yes, you could have. Similar to Chinese style lifting, like some Tian Tao, for example, that kind of precision and power. But if you just keep doing that style of training all throughout, it doesn't lead to great technical ability. Second Turkish lifter up. Very good lifter. Won Europeans this year. My God. Whippy. Snappy. What we <clears throat> said. That is, uh, my God. If you asked... He, you asked a random person to draw a weightlifter who was involved in weightlifting. Yeah. That's probably what you draw. Lightweight class. Arm, like, arms just above the hips. Yeah. Barely able to reach his own pockets. Uh, I feel like a lot of people will go immediately to a super heavy, though. Uh, Jihan F will try and announce, but our ability with names is poor to middling. So What was that trying to pronounce the names? You're not watching now, but so you can't okay. watch right now. Where could you watch it for free? Does anyone, is someone streaming it on Instagram? Is anyone? Someone said it in the chat there earlier. Oh, DMS LPO is, is live. Um, yeah, he's streaming it on Instagram. Uh, DMAS, I'll type it in there just to name the Instagram. D I M A S L P O. He's streaming on Instagram. But don't click off our live stream, right? No. Good. Don't you dare. Good God. Good God. Is there any benefit to doing leg press? Yeah, it's a nice little assistance exercise. Bell squats would be preferable. Just always seem to get that same activation when the torso is lying down in the legs that we kind of want for the quad specifically. Now, obviously, it's still a very useful exercise, but the bell squat just transfers a little better. Lee Sang Yang up for 148. Looks incredibly nervous. Second attempt, missed his first. Oh, there nice. we go. So solid. That's exactly what I thought the first one would look. Yeah, I don't know. It's a big comp for him. And um, looked very nervous when he walked out on stage there. Did you see that? Yeah, he did. He walked out, turned around, walked out, turned around. He, South Korean people are just so nice. Very nice, yeah. Turkish people are really nice too. Yeah. Mo Do you know what? Most people around the world are just great people. Yeah. Most countries. Obviously, some of them really stand out, like South Korea. Very Iran, some of the nicest people we've ever met in their lives. Yeah. Give us a... Uh... Give us your country in the chat. Yeah, and we'll rate how nice you are. <laughs> <laughs> Seek a strength cancelled. Okay, so other target. Yusuf Lifter. Yusuf Lifter. Coming out. Second attempt. 149. Very solid first attempt. Crazy snatcher, but good. Oh, oh. crack this. Oh, no, crack this. Australia. The French lifter is surprisingly... The French weightlifter is surprisingly from France. Uh, French people get a bad rap, but actually, every French person I know is really nice. I worked in France for two seasons. Yeah. Um, I feel like French people just don't like people from other countries. But is it Parisians or is it French? Um, where I was, there's no Parisians. 
as yeah. in La Vendée. Netherlands, Dutch people. Dutch people are lovely. Yeah, very nice. Great people to deal with. Okay. Philippines? I've never been to the Philippines. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Don't know any Filipino people, I think. One of my friend's farms and has a Filipino farmer working with him lives in the farm. Okay. All legal. I imagine that's a culture shock coming from the Philippines to Ireland. To a dairy farm in Ireland. To a dairy farm in wet, northwest Cork. Great worker by all accounts. So. Yeah. Poland. Great, obviously, huge yeah. amount of Polish people in Ireland. And uh, mad for the crack as much as Irish people are. Mad for the crack. Surprising, surprising carryover between cultures. TYP says Malaysia. Malaysia is unbelievable. The Malaysians have a rep. Now, I've never been to Malaysia, but my brothers worked there time time and said Malaysians were lovely people. Very nice. Outrageously nice. I lived in Singapore, which is the tiny little pimple at the bottom of Malaysia. Mm. So we were up there a lot. Very, very nice. Yusuf coming out for his third attempt. He's the one of the Turkish lifters and the Turkish contingent. He missed 149 on his second attempt and he's coming in. He's making, get his performance routine, visualizing the lift. And he's coming in. Clark, his second attempt. So... His problem with his technique is he bumps it forward off the floor and then he brings his hips into the barbell really aggressively. So obviously the barbell gets heavier, it deviates further away from you and it feels heavier. And it's in effect heavier for your muscles because they're not as in advantageous positions. I feel like he's very tall for his height. <laughs> oh, uh, missed it again. USA. USA. Oh, sorry, I missed German. He was Austrian, by the way. Oh. German people are really nice. Yeah. Super nice as yeah. well. Not a bad say. Worked with a German before. Incredibly yeah. efficient to do business with. Yeah. yeah. Very, very, very good. Very polite. Yeah. Terrible cuisine, though. <laughs> so. I like the Wiener Schnitzel. I don't know if that's German. Wiener Schnitzel. You know, the smashed out chicken that's breaded. Connor said, uh, is it Gollava Boo? Gollava Boo. Ah, Gollab you know what? Gollava's great, to be fair. Gollava's class. Yeah, it is. Australia. Australian's great. Yeah. Although yeah. Irish people get a lot, are getting a lot of flack in Australia now, I think. Yeah. I think it's self-imposed by the sounds of it. I'd say there's a lot of crack being had out there, you know. Mirko's up now for his first attempt to 150. Oh, oh. misses! <sighs> so I would not have foreseen that. Mirko, the Olympic silver medalist, certainly a medalist from Tokyo, so very interesting. Haven't seen much of him in the last few years. And... He looks like Bean. He does look like Bean. India. I don't know any Indians, personally, I don't think. I've never been to India. Someday, maybe. We have a few Scots coming up next. Hey. I absolutely love Scotland. Yeah, Scottish people, great people. Super go, nice. Go shooting in Scotland a lot. Mark Olsen says Denmark. Never. I actually met some Danish lads last year. Special Forces Danish people? Very, very oh. highly adept and trained. Lewis. Lewis. Lewis's singlet is hot. So he's coming up first time. Lewis Mascowera. Lewis. It's kind of Lewis. 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 150 in the Lu Gao Goons, the Lu Zhao Zhuns. Oh, Ooh. missed as well. Oh, Jesus. Not as aggressive and sharp as I would have. He hasn't been the same since he was younger. Obviously, still very young, but yeah. when he was coming up on the scene first, the Junior Worlds and stuff, oh he God. looked so very interesting. Remember, there was, it was an ATG video of him, and it was like the fastest weightlifter ever. Do you remember that video? Mm. Turkmenistan, if they're. Ramoff Beck Bechtemore. Oh, he's a really nice lifter, I think, from what I remember. His technique is quite nice. 150 and his first attempt as well. Um Spain. Do we know any Spanish people? I must do. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. I feel Spanish people and Cork people in particular have a, a very big bond. Lots of Spanish people in this part of the country. There's also a lot of Spanish people who learned English in Cork and have a Cork accent with the Spanish accent. Which is adorable. Yeah. And uh, New Zealand. We oh, obviously yeah. Love the Kiwis. Need to get to New Zealand at some point. Yes. Go on. Holy shit. Back to more first down on 50. Solid. Best snatch of the day. Obviously, it's the heaviest snatch of the day, but that's the nicest yeah. technical yeah. snatch of the day. Yeah. Very strange thing about Turkmenistan is that everything's super clean. People are always really well dressed and clean. It's a very strange country. Very strange. Wouldn't go back now. That's on my that's the only country on my blacklist. You're on my list of enemies. Me list of enemies Masanori up for a 150 and first attempt. Holy moly. Masanori's been uploading a lot to YouTube. And the possibly one of the coolest singlets does go to Team Japan. Yeah. 
Lithuania. I do. I, I, we oh, yeah. Lithuania a couple of years ago. Some Lithuanians in our club in Jiu Jitsu. Mm. Great. Tim says, Wales. <laughs> Another Scott. And then Steve Vanren. Wait, we'll just wait till the snatch goes through. Massonary first step 150. Lovely. Mm. Nice. So Lovely. good. Very strange technique. Yeah. Super, super high hips. Leans Very up. opposed to the technique that the rest of the Japanese national team are using. Yeah, yeah. Very, very different. Uh, Steve said, does Cork still desire independence, Republic of, and all that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're heavily voting for the Republic of Cork. Everyone's in such good nick. Such good shape. We're a fan coming out. He snatches really nice as well, though. That yeah, it might, is. Have, might have been nicer than uh, Bechtemore. Very tough decision with Shuma from Thailand. Super yacked. Yeah. 150. 150 slayed a few lifters already. It's a nice small jump. I feel like it's very warm and humid in Thailand at the moment. Why is Thailand's country acronym EGAT? Why is that? Do you know that? Do you know why? No, I don't, Owen. Does anyone in the chat know why? It wasn't a rhetorical question. I genuinely don't know. Okay. Oh. 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 We're a fan Missy's second attempt behind the 150. Owen, oh, I'm not, not going to lie. When I saw EGAT, I originally thought that it was just Egypt misspelt on a singlet. Uh, and then like some of the letters have fallen off. No, sir. No, sir. E. No, Dimas LPO is an Instagram account and he's streaming it on his Instagram. He's saying as if, that, yeah, he made his second attempt at 148. Uh, the Skating Reptile. Oh, I remember your username. Hey, Fitz, around a year and a half ago, I asked for bulking advice moving up from 81 to 89. As of last month, I can say that I've made it to 89 at my best body composition yet. Many thanks. That's great. Phenomenal work. Well done. Oh, EGAT is the Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand. Hmm. Do you think Thailand's prime producer, prime source of power is? Coal. I'd say coal as well. Okay, 150 for the Turkish lifters. Cannot think of his name. Second attempts. Good first attempt at 148 or something. 2024. How do we get here? Jeez, those body proportions are phenomenal, aren't they? Where's the last 10 years gone, everyone? Does anyone know? 10 years ago should have been 2011. I feel like last year was 2019 in my head. And everything since then hasn't really made sense. Oh, nailed oh, it. God. Nailed his second attempt at 150. How can someone's shoulders be that mobile? Osbeck. That's it. Osbeck. For Ken. Eldara. Daily, daily work. Yeah. Obligatory mobility work. Mirko coming out for a second attempt on 50. He missed his first. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's interesting. Everyone's playing for scraps here, though, is the thing. Yeah. People are trying to keep their category. So a lot of people have been complaining about the, mostly the athletes. So obviously their athlete voice does count for a lot, but been complaining about how the top 10 system the qualification for the system has been really unfair and hired on a lot of athletes but i suppose um no one athlete ever really deserves preference in some ways it's i'm always kind of a big fan of the sport and what's best for sport and seeing the best compete more often is better for the sport and up until 2016 weightlifting used to be a team qualification event which was a nightmare so what used to happen was the best countries would just qualify their lifters. So you got a really high number of points for coming closer to first. And they were really skewed towards one, two, and three and stuff like that. So if you placed higher, you're okay. Oh, yeah. Lewis Mosquare made second attempt to 150 very easily. <clears throat> but if you placed higher, you just get points. And then you would could send anyone. After a while, they did introduce before Rio that you had to do at least one international competition a year out just to present for drug testing. Because basically what's happening in sometimes is you'd have a random lifter just never really seen on a big international circuit show up to the Olympics off their titties. <laughs> so the qualification system now, like every sport is individual, maybe it was too many and too far, but 
there was nothing stopping anyone just waiting for this competition to put up a big total. Uh, like you could just weigh into lots of things. So it is tough, but it is elite sport at the end of the day. And, you know, I, I would get... say as well in, in weightlifting, it's not that the athletes have it easy, but it's certainly more clear cut than a lot of Olympic sports where you'll have Olympic qualifiers in June or July. Yeah. That's kind of preference for the sport, to be fair, I suppose. Yeah. Is that like you want to be peaked or in season? Like if you're if you're a track athlete, obviously you're on the national team or whatever, but you could conceivably be waiting until six weeks out before you realize if you're going to the Olympics or not. Nice. Okay. Third attempt, 150 for back. Uh, makes it. Good lift. Good lift. Six says. Yeah. Approximately 60% of electric, electric power in Thailand is generated from natural gas, with domestic gas reserves projected to dry up in the next 10 to 20 years. No way. Holy moly. That's concerning for Thailand's electricity generation. 10 to 20 years. That's not long. That is not long. How many military coups have Thailand had in the last years? It's definitely like three in the yeah. last 20 years or so. I feel like it's volatile. Hi, yeah. If I focus on hypertrophy work for the next few years, is it an efficient way to build a base to hit a big strength PR? Should I decide to pursue them down the line? Yes. So one of the great predictors of strength potential is just muscle size and building a lot of muscle mass. Doesn't guarantee you'll be strong, but it gives you a good option to be strong. And if you just keep most of your focus or some focus on the strength lifts you'd want to improve. So if it's squat, bench and deadlifts, just have them frequently in your training, the higher volume range where you're you're doing your 8s, 10s, or 12s for hypertrophy with those squat bench and deadlift. And then should you ever decide to switch to heavy singles, it's a short hop, skip, and a jump to those heavy singles. Rit Farah's out for his first attempt, 151. Nails yes. it. Yes. Nails it. So if you switch them to singles, you know, you're in a great position then. Whereas if you just focus on hypertrophy work, where you're just doing like dumbbell rows and machine work and all that stuff, which might make great sense for hypertrophy work if you've lost a lot of familiarity with the specific strength lifts you want to improve it'll be a lot harder to make pbs on them or essentially require a lot more work christopher says <coughs> top of the morning to you from california hmm. jake martin alderman says i can't stop calling people horses in your accent now it's very common irish thing to be like are you getting on horse to like a man of your age who do you may roll out for his second attempt at 151 of venezuela There is a gra for knee sleeves, or sorry, for knee wraps in South America that does not exist in the rest of the world. That's true. Yeah, it is. It's a very specific style of knee wrap. Yeah. Oh. Misses his second attempt. Didn't look very close, to be honest. Love the quad barrel names as well. Julia, Ruben, Mayora, Perna. Probably a bit more flair to it when you say it in, yeah. in Spanish. When you've got that kind of music in your voice i think it's just two countries in south america that speak portuguese brazil is one obviously what's the second i think there's a different one the senegal no not senegal is it senegal i think there's only like two of them that speak portuguese and the rest are spanish did you know the second one alex says are six is too much for poles also Inshallah, Rizki gets this dub. Uh, our six is Sorry, too much. Sorry, that's it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Our six is too much for pulls. Uh, probably, yeah, unless you're in a prep phase. You classically wouldn't see pulls being done at, at crazy high reps like that. Some countries and some systems will do clean pulls and sat pulls up very, very high in terms of their total reps. Um, and total sets, Germany will come to mind as one of those countries. But generally speaking, for your pulls, you're using them as technical practice, building that motor pattern. The Lee Sank section of the the live stream is up. So he's coming out for 151 on his second attempt. Best from the floor up until a few weeks ago was 150. And then he hit that 153. Was it 152? Mm. So... Ah... Uh... He looks nervous, Gurf. To be honest, Lee's technique leaves a lot to be desired, and his training style also leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. I know it's like sometimes, not people watching this, but sometimes you say those things, some people get really annoyed, but 
there's a lot to be improved upon. Problem with coaching yourself. Okay, we've got Wirafana for his sec third attempt at 151. He missed his second at 150. Made his opener at 147 when opener was very good. And this is quite a small mm. jump. So he missed that 150 behind. So I think he's a good chance of making this. Angus, uh, what's the deal with Tarassi extension, the snatch and the clean? Is there ever a point where it's too proud, too much of an issue? No, not in the sense of your back position, but rather your shoulder position. Uh, Weirfant misses his third attempt behind. The main issue would be mm, in terms of your shoulder position in relation to the barbell. So if you get into a super comfortable position, but you can't do it when your shoulders are over the barbell, it could mean that your shoulders end up behind the barbell, which is bad for balancing your center of mass and the bar barbell cent center of mass. But essentially, if you follow the good principles of technique, we're only talking about this this morning, that uh, the relationship between your thoracic extension, your back position, and your ability to get more out of your legs is a good relationship. So having a lot of thoracic extension is never too much, realistically, unless your shoulders get pulled back too much and you're still in a good position. I'm going to say he rips this and makes it so julio's out for his third attempt to 151 did not have a close second attempt yeah good nice third attempt made it 151 paraguay a has got quite the portuguese minority a n f n c says or asks split squats Rear foot elevated, hold the weight inside or outside the knee. So if you are just doing weight in one hand, I like the non-standing side. So if I my right foot's out in front and my left foot's back behind, then I like my left hand to be holding the kettlebell or the dumbbell or whatever. Um, it doesn't make a massive difference, to be honest, though, but I do like that non-standing side to be supporting the weight. Elbow's finally getting a little bit straighter. Okay, I was back out for a third attempt at 152. Very uh, good. Karma cast a follow up. And what's the best way to increase that extension? Is oh, it just thinking about it's it? It's tough. So it's tough. You need a lot of muscle work. The problem with this is you need some actual mobility work to loosen up those positions. But a lot of people just don't have the strength in those positions. So the strength in the shoulders and the upper back, lower traps your lats, everything to maintain that extended position. So it is a combination of that mobility. Osbeck oh, makes yeah. third attempt on 52. Very good. It, it's... Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you need a lot of strength work once you have that mobility uh, gain and then queuing and thinking about it as well. But a lot of strength work. The place you start off with that is just prone, lying on the floor going into a back extension you can even do it where just your upper body comes off the floor really focus on that over extension as well you know a lot of times you just don't spend a lot of time in there so it's not that you don't even have the strength or mobility which you might not have but it's also just a mind muscle connection with that so you know frequent cat cows throughout the day a couple of reps 20 sets 20 reps per set good way of reinforcing it mirko oh. Clarksy's second attempt at 153 went up three kilos. I feel like Team Italy aren't putting up the numbers so far. Yeah. Probably pushing them a bit hard, I would think, if I yeah. if I had to guess. Wonder are they training through? You know? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, no, no. Beck Demore. What you told you think she has to hit to go to Paris? like what would send him from team china i to be honest i think you'd need to hit like 170 200 with room to spare at a minimum before team china like if you could do 170 200 and even if you even if he didn't win this with china we're like okay that looks good you know mm. hold back a little bit you could do 205 or 207 maybe so big ask what is the results now um to be honest with you we're still looking at the scraps at the moment. Back to more second attempt. Oh, oh. it's so unfair because these are all great lifters, but we're all yeah. waiting for the best ones to come out. Yeah. Geez, there's been so many lifts at around 150 kilos. 
It's insane, isn't it? What I think would be great is if we could teach international weightlifters what KT tape does. <laughs> no, I wish we could teach their physiotherapist what KT tape does. <laughs> My yeah. sister went to a physio yesterday for plantar fasciitis, and they just put tape on her foot and said, come back next week and we'll tape it again. Can you imagine? Uh, oh, lads. Can you imagine that? Do you know? Physios, I immediately just rang another physio and was like, Yeah, you have to go. You have to see my sister. Physios don't get enough of a bad rap. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not in Ireland. They do not but get enough of a bad rap. Phenomenal physios. Yeah. And then there's tripe. Oh, oh Mirko. Goodness gracious. Clarity's third attempt. Could oh, be the no. Olympic dreams gone. Oh, I'd say it is gone. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, my God. How would you go from meddling at the last Olympics Ooh. to probably not making this Olympics? Probably not going. Back tomorrow out for a third attempt, 153. Jeez, that's so sad. Jeez, weightlifting's hard. <laughs> weightlifting's incredibly hard, yeah. I have seen the hardest geezer, so running the entire length of that's Africa. Insane. He's been averaging over a marathon per day for 340. Yes, yeah. I've seen him actually. We were actually talking about this last weekend uh, with a few of the lads. How does he go back to normal life? Oh, I don't think they do. Like, he's been running for a year, like. Back to more third attempt, 153. Nice. Yes. Great lift. Superb. Absolutely phenomenal. The static start can work so well for the snatch, but it just murders you on the heavy cleans. Mm. Have we got have we done a day of eating video? No, I'm gonna do one soon though. I, I keep talking about it, so I might actually get it done. Dara does some eating in his training vlogs. Yeah. The problem is I just don't eat that much food throughout the day. <laughs> uh on the point of the hardest geezer, that is one. If you were just to do that running around home where you were living, that'd be an incredibly hard thing to do. But when you're running through like countries you've never run through with people who don't speak the language, you're sleeping in a tent. It's insane. That's so hard. Red fires out for second attempt at 154. Any word on that rally? No. I feel Ritbers has the most dialed in pre-performance routine of anybody in weightlifting. He takes it seriously. Yeah. Even the way he shuffles his feet back across. Nails the second Very attempt. Nice. No, why is my stop updating? Oh, you're on top messages. Same Z's. Well, cheesy young go to Paris. He wins this one. I think if he wins this, I think he'll go, but it kind of looks like I don't think he's going to win. Lewis, Javier, Lonzo, Mosquera. Nailed it. Come on. Second attempt was good. Missed his first attempt at 150. He made it on his second. It was a very good attempt on the second. Very successful attempt. 154 and he's third. Looks nervous. As well, he might be. Colombia. Oh, we are seeing you know, some misses. He missed that first one from a lack of pizzazz, you know, like a lack of drive. Mm. And that looked like the same thing. Just looked a little slow. It's hard to know what's going on. Yeah. That was not happening. Who is this? Oh, sorry. This is uh, Rizky. Giant of a man. <laughs> Juniyashi. Indonesia. New singlet for the Olympics, I'd imagine. Probably won't go because you can only send one per category. Yes. So Ratmat's going. He should have bulked 89s and went for it. Yeah, I feel when you're his height, there's no way he's dropping down. There's no way he's going to drop. I 
Oh, nice. First Very attempt. Nice. I missed that. 155 and first attempt for Rizki. Very good snatcher. Saw a really good 160 in the training hall. Avakni says he's DM'd us some swimming profiles to react to. We have a list of reaction videos that we're we're doing them, staying up to date on them. But there is a lot of stuff. So if you're sending stuff in and you don't see the video, that doesn't mean it hasn't been seen. Yeah, but definitely do keep sending them in yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Without a doubt, do absolutely send those in. Man, Sirto is asking, where is the stream? Just go up in the chat. You'll see, uh, you'll see the lads talking about it. Yeah, lots of misses, but that's international weightlifting. A white singlet is a big move. It's courageous. You're always at the risk of it getting wet. It's <laughs> it's brave, courageous, you know. <laughs> so brave. I like the way that they made their background graphic for good lift or no lift on, on canva do you notice that you know when you know when girls are like making fun of another girl but like to their face like you're so brave wearing that jacket mm. oh i would never i could never wear that i could never i could never wear that way there's rat mat here he is i'm on team cheesy young though team i Xi's want young. to know what's in your man's hand that he's smelling <laughs> It's the Nazlov dust. Did you see that? It's the Nazlov dust. Then he rubs it on his back. It's just halo. Just run around to other competitors. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's testing positive. Spring they can't take us all down. <laughs> Surely. Uh, They've done it before. Let's go, Ratman. 155 first attempt. Yeah. Good attempt. Easy. He is yakked. 155 Indonesia. You know what I'm, I enjoy Owen is that we're seeing a lot less cupping marks. Halo dot. No, there's copy marks on his back. I know that's the. But usually, no. This was three years ago. We would have seen every athlete there with a load of cupping marks. No, do you know what? Copy marks is far better than liberal liberal sh KT tape. Shotgun application of KT tape. <laughs> I feel like some people do it with like their national colors, and it's just a bit of like temporary tattoo, you know, mm -hmm. just for a bit of pizzazz. I will say in defense of some of the physios or team doctors, like if an athlete really wants it, you might yeah. as well just put it on them. Yeah. Miyamoto. I'm surprised we haven't seen someone in bodybuilding use KT tape more, which is, you know, <laughs> one of the reasons you'd want to be using it. That mind muscle connection. Masanori, so close on 55. Could make it on second or third definitely, attempt. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Meaty Owls said, uh, if you go to up in the chat, you'll see where you can watch it. There's a few Instagrams live streaming, live streaming the live stream. But you better not leave our live stream. Jeez, that amount of overextension in that left elbow is insane, isn't it? The hyperextension. Wouldn't know about it, to be honest, kid. Alex says, there is it cold in there. It's bloody freezing in here. Uh, we're in a room on the fourth floor of a building. There's no insulation on the roof, so it's just basically an open roof above us. And uh, there's a Chinese opium den behind us. Yes, so we have that kind of uh, tiled ceiling, but a load of the tiles are missing in here to be in our actual office. So all the warm air just leaves immediately. Yeah, cold, bare concrete with gaps is yeah, and above that a couple of is blocks. the the space. Some is damp the sky itself. Some damp lentils as well is good. Yeah. A are. lot of exposed cabling. Yeah. We're uh we're barely holding on here, to be honest. It is a Soviet Sikistan in here. There's no link, you just have to go to Instagram. D Mass L P O. D I M A S L P O. L P O. Also, you can't post a link in YouTube comments. Where do you do where do you jump in the snatch? Mid tire higher. Ratmet will win. Carlos will break his record and do it again at the Olympics. Where do you jump in the snatch? So jumping in the snatch is an interesting word. And it's very, the language you use with cues is something that is unique to individuals. And a good cue might do the right thing. And a bad cue might have the correct language, but it might transfer wrong to people. So never really use the cue jumping, to be honest. Uh, at the very start, when you're teaching lifters. Sometimes we use the word to jump down, but 
after you finish the extension, so you hit that full extension, you've extended for long enough, then you move your feet. So you could consider the foot movement a jump. Nice, oh. Rich Vars. Rich Vars won 57 on his third attempt, three for three in the snatch. Very nice. Really come into his own in this weight class. Yeah. GC's had a hard few years of it as well. Double soldier, double shoulder <laughs> surgery. Double soldiers. Say that three times fast. <laughs> I'll have a stroke. Double shoulder surgery, double shoulder surgery, double shoulder surgery. Miyamoto. Mas Mas Norris came out for 158 in his third attempt. Didn't give a fuck. Missed 155, but it was very, 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 very close. I feel like this is where hyperextension is an issue. Oh, someone's saying the IWF have it on Facebook. Yeah, but is that for non weightlifting house? Strums? Countries. Wait, what? Wait, is Wait of Sales unironically the main broadcast of the IWF now? Kind of seems like it, yeah. Yeah, have a look for the Facebook. 158 for Masanori. Third attempt. Nails yes. it. Yes. That was hard fought. Great attempt. Yes. He's looking beefy, isn't he? Yeah. Very well developed. Well done. That was a great lift. Particularly, it looked jarring on the last one. The love heart paddle next to him. Did you see that? No. Uh, the woman who was walking next to him had this pink love heart on like a paddle that she was holding up. Hmm. Yeah, the most European of technique. Yeah. Here he is. Okay, Rat Matt's second attempt. Still haven't seen Xi Jiang, Rat Matt, Irwin, Abdullah. 160 for your second attempt. 155 was very casual. Hands to Nazan on his back again. <laughs> the Halo inhaler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Shnajnav Shnuff. I actually think one of the most underestimated things is the amount of band stimulants used in weightlifting or the most least understood or every sport yeah nails 160 it was really weird a bit of a strange head position wasn't it that was such a strange lift let's see that again that was so weird yeah the thing here is Xi Jiang probably isn't in the best clean jerk shape right now, but if you can get a good lead on the snatch, mm. it's very strange. Very it's, strange. Nobody has that much extra rotation on their shoulders mm. in the overhead position like Ratmat does. Here he is. I'm nervous. 161. When did Chi Young become the underdog? Oh my god, Cup Mark Central. My god. <sighs> I am nervous. Why are we nervous for Xi Young? When did this happen? Things are topsy turvy. I think it's because. Due to the Olympic qualification, Team China is so... But Xi Jiang would have... If you'd said four years ago, you'd yeah. like Xi Jiang secure. This will tell you a hard way to think is that one of the greatest specimens of made of thing ever is, is struggling to get his spot at the Olympics. My God, look at that musculation. 161, first attempt. I'm so nervous. I feel like he's not going to make this. Oh. Nailed it. Oh. Yes. I'd say 166, 170. Come on, Xi. Come on. What a lift. He's more jacked than ever. Chi Young is the underdog. How did this happen? What's Love. going on? He's cup marks run it over. He yeah. did nail the chalk back into the bucket too. Yeah. He's great external rotation too. Must have a good physio. Okay. So we're seeing Rat Math for 162. And Risky still has two more attempts. Oof. Rat Matt is obviously a great snatcher. Obviously, he's great at snatching, but it's not his forte compared to the clean and jerk. They better get hydrated before the, the lads come out. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Coke Zero, liter and a half. I'm drinking vitamin, vitamin well. oh, reload. 
lemon and lime, vitamin B and D, magnesium and zinc. You know, South Korea and Japan are great for these vitamin shots. There's no reason not to have them. Yeah. I think their populations care an awful lot more about their health than ours do. That's getting there. Second attempt for Ratmash 162. Oh! oh. oh. The catch position on the second attempt or second attempt was so weird. I'd say he might have a shoulder injury or a neck injury. No, I think his technique is just not that great on the snatch. Yeah. Compared to what he could be lifting. Yes. It's a funny statement to make in weightlifting because if you criticize an elite lifter, People assume, like you're saying, that that lifter isn't good, but it's all proportional to that lifter. Yeah. If he improves his lifts or his technique, he can be a better lifter relative to himself. So just because he's better than the average lifter doesn't mean he doesn't have things wrong, you know. And even if he's winning, there's stuff to improve upon. Mm. And obviously the coaches know that. And it's uh, it'll be silly to assume the coaches don't think that as well. But changing someone's technique at near world record lifts is very difficult. It's hard enough to change people's. Oh, absolutely. It's hard enough to change someone's technique who's snatching 100 at the best of times in a prompt manner. So trying to change someone who's trying to qualify for the Olympics for an extra few kilos at the risk of reducing short-term performance is massive, you know? Yeah. Okay, Rizky, second attempt at 164. Late 190s clean and jerker, probably. Maybe a 200 on the best of the best, the best days. Oh, wasn't expecting that. I didn't think that's a nine kilo nine jump. Kilo jump is obnoxious. Can't big. be at that. <laughs> He's doing the classic thing of like, should I get two goals with it? <laughs> that was too much. But Risky is in a position where it's shit or bust, so it makes sense for him to take a big attempt. Like, don't bomb and then, mm. you know, go for it. Okay, she's young. Oh, Risky's going. Okay, yeah. She's young, 164. Nice, sensible jump. Brings his own chalk. Three kilo jump. No messing. Let's go. If you're in great shape, tracksuits look great. I'll say. Uh, if you're in great shape, all clothes look great. You know? Not at five foot two and hundred. I think what kilos. you're really saying is that if you're fat, tracksuits look terrible. <laughs> Come on, she. That's Come on. 64. We want to see it. We want to see the big third attempt. Look. Look at the calf muscles on him. The state of his arms. So jacked. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Oh. Misses the second attempt. I think he could make that. I'd say he's going to go 165. You know... Literally, if I was coaching, I'd be like, just pull it for longer. Just extend for a bit more. Very often, that's very common in the comp is people just actually cut their pull short. Yeah. Uh, man says, IWF still accepting bribes as they obviously aren't selling the broadcasting rights to major companies. I, I just think, don't think anyone wants it. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think weightlifting outs are paying a lot of money and it's more than any channel are willing to pay for it. Nobody watches weightlifting. Okay, Rizky's out for 164 in his second attempt. It was a nine kilo jump for his first attempt, which he made quite well. And he's going for 164, third attempt. Second was not close. Is that not the Anta symbol? Yeah, it looks very similar to it. Looks like the Anta symbol with a tail. Come on now. Everybody's wearing Antas. Yes. Oh, yes. that was really good. Very good. We're watching the stream on Weightlifting House. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, she's going up for 165. For people wanting to watch the stream, just go back in the chat. You'll see it there. You'll see people talking about where it's being streamed. Yeah, Rizky snatched 164 on his third attempt. Really good attempt. Gigi Young. Come on now. 165. Third exactly attempt. Exactly as I called it. I should be coaching the Chinese national team. <laughs> Just 
Come on. Let's go. She's young. 165. Third attempt. She used to be like Lasha. You see Lasha yeah. walk up the bar, you're like, oh, yeah, I was making that. Yeah. Now. I know he's wearing odd shoes and missing snatches. I think he's missing because he's wearing odd shoes. Mm. I don't like the odd shoe thing. Is that right? No, I really don't like it. <sighs> yes! yes! Nails, Nails it. it! That was class. If he had done that with 164, they're definitely going 170. <laughs> you said that in a really strong accent. Like, Nails it. <laughs> Nailed it, kid. Nailed it, kid. Nailed it. What a relief. What a swagger on him as well. Seth, Dr. Seth told me he's in the best shape he's been in for a long time. Just let him have a fourth attempt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. My God. The injuries have definitely affected his positions and his technique. Mm. That discrepancy between his legs, one with massive of external rotation, a lot of dark reflection, the other one without, is insane. Always there, though. It was always yeah. present. All right, we have time to break. Ask some questions. Get the questions in. There's 192 of you, and there's only 38 likes in the live stream as well. Whoa. Ah, whoa. Whoa. And that's actually 36, because myself and Owen both liked it. Yeah, we did, yeah. Come on, that. I just liked it there. Wow, so few. Are we not good enough? Are we not entertaining you? Is that, Do you is that actually a, not like the stream? Is it something wrong? We, should we just stop the stream if people don't like it? No, no, it's fine. We don't have to. How many to... thumbs down did you give it, that? Yeah, is he thumbsing down in or what? Whoa, this is crazy. Oh, 40 people like the new. Thanks to the two people who made the effort. One of those was me as well. Oh. Yeah. I don't even I don't even care about it there. Yeah, 189 people. 66 likes. Oh, yeah, that's great, lads. That's, yeah. yeah, great work. Uh, Banana Bread says, what if they only allowed barefoot in competition? Would that make big changes in rankings and medalists? Love you, lads. I think... Mm. The best people would still be the best. I yeah. think you definitely have some some lifters who just wouldn't be able to make the change. Um, in the same way where if you didn't allow people to wear spikes and made them wear, um, sorry, made them barefoot for running 100 meters in the Olympics, you'll have the fastest people are still the fastest, but some people will fail to make that change. Um, Anton, oh, sorry. Uh, RG said, how can I develop abs without losing weight? You... You can't essentially like you have to be a certain level of leanness and that's very spending from person to person some people will have more apparent abs at different body weights and body fat percentage like if you look at lee one wall he's got pretty visible abs but you know some people could be a similar body fat so you know you can come back to that weight you could cut down build some lean mass keep your fat mass low build up again and get back to that weight but recomping is tough very specific circumstances easier with peds but still not even that easy so it is uh at non trivial are more, are more possible but no it's not really a thing anton said is it a good idea to go for daily max in the back squat before five by five working sets so we're not huge fans of the top single and drop down i think it's a more of a psychological weakness and it's essentially just fatiguing you for your main sets now in certain circumstances if you're building back up from a long delay or if you're trying to hit you know you're very 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 out of practice with singles and you're a couple of weeks out from a competition or something then it is worth it but generally it's best just to get your five by five done and uh keep the quality and resources for that james says hi seeker boys enjoyed the reactions a lot that's great to hear another big reaction coming this weekend collie blue says what do you do or not do for training after a weightlifting camp. Uh, so what everyone does is they max their back squat. Because <laughs> that just seems to be what happens. Um, usually on the Sunday or Monday after the competition. That's always what people do. In my opinion, the best thing you can possibly do is take three days off training completely. And don't go to the gym. Don't hang around the gym. Just leave and go away. I like a full week off for my lifters. Yeah. Full week. Just actually an actual week off. Don't do light training. Don't be doing like kiss me arse power snatches or something like that. Just take some time off 
and then get back in and start and when you start then you're 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 back on the cart fully and not kind of jogging behind the cart if risky outpaces rat mat today will indonesia send risky i don't think so because uh, rat mat still has that big clean and jerk in him you know what do we see him clean 240 214 as an 81 or an over 873 so he has those massive clean and jerks and with the olympics it's just one gold and that's for the total and those clean jerk really had those numbers to the goal so i don't think we'd see risky going unless rat mat had an absolute abysmal competition and risky pulled a whopper out of the bag uh <laughs> jose says rat mat's a fraud <laughs> hey Cully blood says how would you train to maintain x percent of your total after y time so in terms of X percent of your total, what you're really looking at there is like a maintenance percentage. So common thing here would be like maintaining your back squat after you've done a big back squat cycle or something like that. Usually you can reduce the frequency quite significantly. Um, if you've trained six times a week to really blow up your total and you get uh, whatever it is, you go 140, 180 or something along those lines, you can probably cut back to three times a week still very intelligent training still pushing things hard and you can probably do 130 165 with that three times a week still maintaining technique pushing your lifts hard and making sure you're not losing actual physical condition now there are caveats with that and that's a lot of time when we go to, into a maintenance phase something else has changed so we go into a maintenance phase from weightlifting because we need to do some hypertrophy work or we're in a cutting phase we're making large-scale changes to our physique or we might be going back to sports specific stuff. So you might be doing a lot more running or a lot more conditioning, which all influences it. If we're going away from the strength lifts, usually we're going away from the strength lifts and then so squat, press, pull and row. And in those cases, we're going into our sports specific work, which might mean more speed work, more power work. And all of those caveats will influence how you're going to maintain it. Also, all those situations will require a different percentage to be maintained. Um, if you're a golfer and you do a bit of an off-season block and you get a lot of strength and hypertrophy work done you don't need to be maintaining 95 percent of your back squat one around that you work for three months to be to to attain in the first place if you held on to maybe 80 85 percent you're in a phenomenal place and so it really does just depend on the situation I'm back on top messages again. Oh, me same. Out of nowhere. Me same. Yeah, good, uh, great English there, on. Me same. Me same. Uh, are accessories, am I right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are accessories before the main list a bad idea? Yes. Yeah, you. So there's an order of sequences that training will always follow regardless of sports. So it is highest fatiguing, most susceptible to fatigue. Sorry, most susceptible to fatigue and fastest lifts or most tactical lifts always go first. So whether that's jumping, your tactical practice, or it's your snatch, your clean and jerk, they require the freshness and they require your tactical precision. So they um, they always go first because the assistance work will fatigue you before you do those lifts. So it's not a good idea. Uh, I recommend I can pull up. Uh... Elliot Hooker says, been lifting for a while, around six years, but had a few months off to focus on squats. What program would you recommend weightlifting or back to training? Will start when I finish the RTA. In your case, just back into the weightlifting blocks is the best thing to do there. Um, that kind of hiatus won't make a massive difference. Yeah. Dub says, do you guys believe in a perfect technical model for all sports? Yes. Yeah, there is a perfect way of moving a biomechanically, a physiologically more beneficial way for every single movement that exists in every sport, in every movement pattern, in every developmental level. There's a perfect way of doing things. Um, so, like, it's interesting because, you know, it's much more clear what's going on in weight of thing or shot put. You know, you have a very constrained event and you have very specific movements and you have a very specific and repeatable event to perform in so that technical model is even more important but then if you move to something like maybe a field sport or a pitch sport or a team sport or like basketball or rugby 
you have obviously a lot of variables there, but you always have specific situations that come up because the sport has rules and it has a, a style of play that it follows. So you know that there are certain events or if you look at jiu-jitsu, which is an insane number of variables. But if you practice all of those variables consistently, you just have more of them to specifically learn, uh, whether it's specific passing, you know, free throw shooting or passing in basketball or specific positions of jiu-jitsu. You just have to practice those. So there is... Uh, you know, the best athletes practice a lot for a reason. That's why the sports specificity is something that's very, very important. And essentially, the more of your sport you can do without being fatigued while still supporting the attributes you need for that sport is the way forward. So, yep, and most sports, all sports have tactical. Now, it varies a bit from lifter to lifter, but still. Uh, B320 man says, do you guys know where to find the video of a 210 power jerk from Xi? I don't. Did he do 210 clean and jerk? Hello, hush, 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 hush says, <laughs> what type of lift do you recommend for sprinting? And do you recommend heavy lifts, low reps, or light weights, high reps? So what type of lifting we recommend for sprinting is general athletic development is the first thing. So having a good base, cross your strength movements, and then obviously getting into the high power output, very high power and very high force are great. And then as we get into the, the in-season stuff, moving to the slightly higher velocity, slightly lower force movements. In terms of do we prefer high weights for low reps or low weights for high reps, uh, this is a major misnomer in terms of programming is that there's a rep set and percentage that a sprinter should train at and that's where they should train for when they're sprinting uh, when we're in the off season we accumulate volume we make sure we're doing a lot of volume at the lighter weights then we slowly build up and that rep and set percentage and the intensity we use changes consistently when we go from phase to phase and even within the phases it changes uh Ritvers is just coming out here for 178 On the clock behind, it's 39, 38, 37, 36. Jeez, all the media boys and girls turn out to Thailand. Do they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been watching? I'm reading our live stream questions, Owen. I'm not scrolling through Instagram. I'm watching the lifters. Uh, so in terms of what we recommend for sprinting, a good off-season block where you have a lot of strength work, work out any deficits you might have. And then in the in season, a lot more of the high force and high speed stuff. Okay, Red Fires hits his first attempt, 178, 79. Oh no, 178. So pretty casual lift for him. So I assume his spot is fairly well secured. He puts up a decent total here. So no need to win this when the Olympics is more important. So you don't want to be. Blowing your proverbial total load. My God, no. So precise. Yeah. How but does his shoulders get back to that after two yeah. double shoulder surgery? Uh, Mishra says, what do you think about Carlos's 400? Crazy to do a power jerk with the yeah. 220. B32 old man says, what did you say your physio mate said she clean and jerked in training recently? Uh, he didn't say actually. I forgot to ask him. He just said he was in very good shape. So we will we will see. Lewis Mosquera out for his first attempt in clean and jerk at 180. This should be pretty good for him, but who knows? Who knows what people are going to miss? Hundred and eighty kilos, seventy-three kilo men. Got that. Did he have that soul patch earlier? He didn't have that goatee on earlier, did he? <laughs> I think he puts it on for clean and jerks. The the chin fluff is, is quite that a power clean. No, that's how he always hits it. That's just gonna his depth. Okay, good attempt. Yeah, very much an opener. The chin fluff is very popular among the South American countries. And the under chin fluff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chin, the schmig. There's it's a big. Uh, what's the correct name for that? A goatee? Is that a goatee? A soul patch? No soul, soul patch is this one. Front. Those schmigger doodles. What is that called? It's not a, a goatee. Is the full remit like, isn't it? I feel that's back to more first attempt at 180. 
these are all great lifters, but there's only three we want to see, you know. It's actually sad, though, because they are all great. Great lifters. They're just not great enough. 14 in the A group is a bit too much. Yeah. Should I have... 10. Not even. 8. Double eight digits. Would be nice, yeah. 8 is single digits. Yeah, not double digits. Oh, yeah. Ed Redder says how to fix low contact point in clean when weights get heavy. Bend your arms. Oh, that's a nice that clean. A lovely clean. Going to be a sick track, I'd say. Look at that wrist position in the jerk. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, that's bloody gorgeous. I definitely don't bend your arms in the clean. The thing you need is a stronger upper back and stronger mid back. A lot of time that low contact point comes because your shoulder is going to pull down. Uh, and that's, that's a major one. A lot of times as well, it's simply a thing you've practiced and you don't practice it consistently enough. So you don't... In some cases, like Darius talked about there, you, you might need more strength. Most times people need more strength for sure, but other times it's just simply not practicing that higher contact point. So essentially waiting for longer before you make the explosion phase. So practicing making contact higher is the thing we always start. In weightlifting or any sport, if we're trying to improve technic technicality, we always start by doing or stopping something rather than looking immediately at assistance work. But very often then, in weight of thing, it does come to other work. Uh, Suheb says, is there a live stream? So just look up in the chat. There's plenty of people talking about it there where you can watch it. We're watching on Weightlifting House. Vid channel says, reactions of vlogs are great, lads. I'm trying to program and wondering how long to stick in the rep range. Is one or two weeks, I'd say tens before moving to eights, too short at the time. I just might be impatient. So kind of two weeks, four sessions at, at certain rep ranges tends to work very well. Particularly if you're programming for yourself, you want to underdo the changes. So you want to spend longer in certain periods. And uh, the problem with self-programming and self-coaching is that you won't stay for long enough in particular periods of training. You won't give it the time to accrue those those changes you need to. Don't forget, we're running our weightlifting camp in the south of Portugal um, from the 27th to the 31st of May. Um, a lot of people are asking for a three day option, so we've put it up. So there's a three and a five day option for the camp. You can email us lots of weightlifting, double A sessions, beautiful part of the country, great food, accommodation is cheap, easy to get to, flight to Faro Airport, Faro, and lots lectures of every evening. Julio out for first attempt at 183. Easy clean. Oh, yeah. Good jerk. Yeah. Um, bumper plates at all in weightlifting stream. Got sniped, shaking my head. International player says, can you analyze Nazar 220 squat jerk? Should he do squat or split? Everyone should do split. We probably will have it in the new show next week. Bumper Play Bandit said you said I stroke wad at working overtime today. Not working enough. You said I definitely aren't doing any work today anyway. Um, Tom Miller says, hi lads, were either of you taught by Dr. John Kiley in UL? There are a few interesting podcasts in which he discusses his thoughts on traditional periodization. So he was <coughs> around UL when I was there. He still had some postgrads. Actually was in on like an eight hour workshop with him one day about that concurrent periodization model. Some very interesting stuff. He was there with the co-author of his papers um, on concurrent periodization. As far as I know, he was a... Oh, Bechtemore just nailed... Oh, oh fuck. God, that jerk was so nice. The clean is exceptional as well. 183 at second attempt. Go up. It's not a waste of time. Don't go for that again. Uh, but he was with a Swiss Canadian throwing coach. If I remember correctly, the co author of those concurrent periodization papers, anyway, um, discussing those models, discussing traditional periodization and why they use concurrent periodization. The interesting thing from my point of view there, though, is they're still periodizing their training. They have very low exercise selection and um, very low variance in their training, which most athletes do that in their training anyway. And then even as they were going through their concurrent training plans, there's still variation in load and intensity. 
Um, and although it might be in block periods, or we might not be changing out our direct models as often, uh, the big kind of takeaway I took from that and reading those papers afterwards was, or reading his stuff afterwards was, it, it's still very, very much periodized training. And so... A reading from the Gospel of Periodization. Bumper Blade Bandit <coughs> says Facebook Live depends on country, not working here in the US. Can you just use a VPN and watch it, I wonder? On the slash book? Angus Rowe says personal favorite bulking snacks, gents. Okay, let's get back to probably the commentary in the video. So we've got Yusuf up, but favorite bulking snack is really fatty fried rice. Mine is sandwiches. Mm. Sorry, we'll get to the questions later. We will better do the, the commentary and the lifting. It's what the video's for. It is what the video's for. 184 for Yusuf on his opener. Really not built for weightlifting. No. Yusuf setting up here reminds me of a young Dara Fitz, except oh. not clean and jerking massive weight. Oh, oh, that's not what you want your opener for. I call that scrappy. Rick that's Bears is up next. Not reassuring. No, it's really not. Was that coach gone to Saudi Arabia? Do you remember that? I think he was just helping them out, maybe. Okay. Oh, no, no, but he was coaching he them was for coaching something. Them, yeah. Maybe is he back to. Yeah, he was just a large cash deposit. Let's hope so. It's funny, he was coaching down there, yet a lot of the Latvian athletes were down there training as well. Hmm. She might as well bring him down there. Yeah. Okay, Ritvar, second attempt at 184. There's a pre performance routine for you. Yeah, every time the temples. I kind of feel like we're going to see a massive clean and jerk. From she? From someone. Yeah. I think we have to see it. Yeah, I hope we do. Ritvar, second attempt at 184. Okay. Clean looked a bit harder. Good jerk, though. Very good jerk. I will say that even when he's been at his best, his cleans oftentimes don't look like they're very, very easy. I feel like he locks out the jerk very well. He has that wide jerk grip. He makes jerks, but I feel like the cleans don't look spectacularly easy ever. Um, Like, his tactical model of his clean is fantastic. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it does seem a bit harder and comp than some of the training lists we've seen from him. Love the good block snatch. He's a great lifter. Oh no, is he deleted all his old videos? Oh no, they're just as reels. No, he did. <gasps> what? What? Why do weightlifters do that? For anyone who wants to see as well, he's been on the Secret Strength podcast to so look up Rit Bar Svahe's on the Secret Oh Strength man, podcast. where are all these old videos gone? A lot of block snatches and like 117 stuff. They're hiding. Ah, uh, here. Why do they do that? I think he's clean tackle model is very good, but sometimes he, they, uh, he's he's a little bit slow standing up. But oh, that's disappointing. Wavers always do that. Hope someone saved those. They're there, they're surely there somewhere. Okay, we've got back to more. Third attempt at 184. Unbelievable clean and jerker. So Come on so very power. <laughs> very wide grip. Yeah. Technical precision. Oh. oh. That's why you gotta work on your split jerk position. Yeah. Gotta get it right. Oh, that was... That's disappointing, now. That is disappointing. Yeah. I was very excited for his jerk. And it was class. Mm. I'm so disappointed that Ferris deleted all these videos. <laughs> Luis is up next. Luis! The inhaler. 185. First attempt was pretty good on 180. wasn't... 
was there's definitely 185 yeah. should be there. I think he could have a 190 in him today. I feel like he could clean the world. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of those. Uh, thank God for those reposting pages. Yes. Are there a few lifts up there? Yeah. A lot of them seem to be there. Yeah. Why did he delete them? I wonder. 185 for Lewis. Lewis, second attempt. Mm -hmm. Very power clean. Oh, he was oh. moving his hand out as he adjusted. Yeah. 185, very good attempt. Possibly a 190 there? I think a 190. If he can clean it, I think he'll have a good chance of that, Jack, yeah. which is obviously a very redundant thing to say, but it makes sense. <laughs> if he can score the try, I think he's a good chance of winning the game. Okay, Julio's out for his third attempt. Second That's, attempt, 185. There's too much face contact there from the coach. Some would say it's not enough. Two kilo <laughs> jump on clean and jerk in the 73 kilo A group that in the last nice. chance for the Olympics. That is uh, it's a small jump. Yeah, that's conservative. That's more conservative than Donald Trump and Confederate flags. Why would you say that on the stream? The interesting thing about this is there's lots of positional games going on here. So yeah. no one actually, not no one cares, but not many people care too much about winning this as opposed to securing your spot. So he might be competing against one other person. Yes. As opposed to trying to win the group. Okay. No footsie clean. Nice jerk. Great job. Very good. Very good. Superb. Trying to find that 170. Oh, well, yeah, 170 black snatch. So nice. Oh, 173. Holy moly. Holy moly. Big pressure on here. Oh, Yusuf, 184. He ain't making this, lads. No way. 185 second attempt. Missed 184 in his opener. I'm going to say this would be... I'd be more surprised about this being a make than I would about any other make I've ever seen. <sighs> Do you think, think Donald Trump's watching this? I hope Shane Gillis is watching it doing a Donald Trump impression. Okay, Yusuf, 185. Darius, spirit animal. <laughs> Your arms aren't gargantuan, to be fair. It's... Wait, that's where my clean grip is, though. Oh, man. Oh. Nah. Ah, uh, lads, that's... Uh, that's actually heart... heartbreaking. I was just going to say it's heartbreaking. Because he's a great lifter. Yeah. He should be wrestling or javelin throwing or something. I think he banged his bum on the ground. He's holding his heart. You can't be going around with that technique and oh, and trying making lifts, you know? No. Oh, I think he did bang his coccyx. Ah, that's not that's not the reason. No, <laughs> Same no but I mean that's like. ah, nothing. <laughs> They're all on the inhaler today, aren't they? All yeah, but this. it's illegal. It's water legal if you hide it behind your hand, if you keep it off screen. Do you remember when we were in Romania and Clarence mentioned in one of our videos or Clarence's video, our video, that Flaffle he thought was Indian? Someone got so mad. There was like 15 comments about Flaffle then, wasn't there? I actually don't remember exactly now, but... If ever there is something that we haven't cared le less about. That's where Flaffle came from. Yeah. Is it chickpeas? What's Flaffle? What's Flaffle made from? It is chickpeas, isn't it? It's one of those foods anyway that people who eat meat aren't really too bothered about. I think. This is where you don't make contact in your clean now, so watch us back. <laughs> oh my god, that's where you make contact on my snatch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. very easy attempt, 186 yeah. from Uzbek. First attempt. I keep thinking that you're saying who's an Uzbek lifter, and I'm like, he's a Turkish lifter only. It could be Uzbek. 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 I wouldn't be like us to pronounce something wrong. Can't say I'm well up in my Turkish. Pretty good clean and jerk. 
pretty good. 186. Oh, he's got an Olympic ring statue, but he hasn't been to the Olympics. How do you know? It's on his tricep. No. <laughs> it's <laughs> on his cock. Was he mad at the... <laughs> We're saying I oh, was saying inappropriate things on the street. Uh, how was he not at the last Olympics? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe he was actually. I don't think he was. Masanori first attempt one eighty seven. Jeez, I don't think there's anything cooler in the world than having. Oh, sorry, the Olympic rings tattoo is the second coolest tattoo ever, and the only one that's cooler is having a Hell's drink. Angel. What? Hell, Hell's Angels. No, it's having like scars from a gunshot wound and having entry under one and exit under the other. Hmm. Yeah. 187 for Massanoi's first attempts. Famously incredibly close to his best front squat. Clean and jerk. 187. Yes. Such a good jerk. Such a good jerk. 187 is a weird lift. The number is weird, like for clean and jerks. Yeah, yeah it's, it is. It's not right. Like for snatching, one eighty-seven is a cool number, but mm. for clean jerking, it's very strange, you know. To be honest, I think any three-digit number where you can make the maths work out. So, like seven minus eight is one, or eight minus seven is one. You know, those numbers always kind of not bother me, but they make me think a bit more. Are you in the Da Vinci Code now. Do you remember that movie came out? Yeah, I think it's a great movie. Yeah, it is quite good. I'd read a few of the books before and it was digital. People hate those movies. No, it's a good movie. It's a great movie. What's the one afterwards? Angels and Demons. Yeah. That sucked. That was a bit strange with the atomic bomb that the helicopter took away and he parachuted down. Remember that? No, that was the Da Vinci Code. No. Angels and Demons was the atomic bomb one. No, that was the first one I thought. No. With the young priest fella, the yeah. Pope. Yeah. They were decent books. Yeah. Ritvars. Oh, come on now. Third attempt at 187. In Phuket, Thailand. Hey. Oh, tough clean. Derek cursed him. Oh, oh. drops the jerk. Tom Miller says here, thanks for the answer. Do academics feel pressured to land on a magic formula stroke position that differs from the norm or bucks the trend? Yes. And coaches do as well. Um, it's bizarre. Everyone's looking for everyone's looking for their unique selling point. RP11 Fuket is a funny word. Like a place being called fuck it is funny. Like. No, it's funny. It no, it's funny. I'm surprised we haven't taken the piss out of it today. Okay, Lewis. Hevier. Lodzo. Moscowera. What is that design on the thing? Is it is it like Mayan runes or something? You confident in saying Mayans were in no, Colombia? Owen, I am not confident of anything. <laughs> 188, third attempt. Pretty solid attempt at 185 when he's second attempt. Oh, I better I'd clean again. Oh, oh. It's hard to snatch balance that weight from the front, like <laughs> it is tough. Teleport, like it's no joke. Like, where's my chat gone? Why am I back on top messages? Chad, where are you gone? Where are you gone? Though? My chat's just all gone. Oh, it's back a bit now. Chickpea and or fava bean, flava bean. Julio's out for third attempt at 188. Also, Christian Weber says, What's the reason behind the slanted seeker strength sign? So the slanting obviously is for graphic design brilliance. 
and Sika Shanks is the name of the company. Apparently it's Phuket, not Phuket. Uh, I'm going to stick with Phuket, I think. Yeah. Oh my God, Joshua's calling it as Ramp Matt for 203. I could see that. Goodness gracious. Pukes. Pukes. Ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. 188. Yes. Great lift. Yes. Hmm. Okay, we're going to see. I was back at 189, and we still. Quite a few clean injectors left. Or, well, none of the big dogs right yet, as in at least 189 for uh, Uzbek, Uzbek, Uzbek. <laughs> One of those. The Turkish Uzbek. Who, Oz, or Oz? From Turkey. I think he'll make this pretty routinely. His first attempt is very good. He's having a great day today. He's a great lifter. Yeah, he's a good lifter, yeah. Are you sure he wasn't at the last Olympics one? No. No, you're not sure? Or I'm answering your question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sugar shit. <sighs> Turkish tea is the best tea I've ever had. Oh, it's so good. Do you know what makes it so good as well as the tiny little cups? And the massive ones of sugar. Yeah. And the apple. And sugar. Don't forget the sugar in the tea. I'm watching a short here of Munster Troy. It is absolutely... Munster are just playing glorious rugby at the moment. Kalele Blue. I don't remember. That wasn't who I was talking about. Sorry, what? No, I just completely disregarded what I was saying. What did you just say there? <laughs> watching a Munster try. I thought There's you said Munster playing class. Like 27 different passing. What are you watching? I'm back on the stream now. <laughs> Do you know when you get that little pop-up of a, a short that's been uploaded? Uh, Carmack says, nope. Barry's or Lions, lads. I'm unsubscribing if you get this wrong. If you don't think Barry's tea is the only tea you're allowed to drink, then we don't want you here anyway. What's the red one? Barry's. That's the one I drink. Lions is for Protestants and English people. RP11, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I think you're right, but I'm still just going to say Phuket. What's that? What's the pronunciation? <laughs> Zany, Zany bombed on the snatch. Missed it and clerked it twice. Carmack says, good, 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 good. That's good, Carmack. Also, we drive past Barry's tea on the way to the office every day, so it'll be disingenuous. <laughs> I was back out for 189 on his third attempt. Missed a jerk in his second attempt. Didn't have much rest. Okay. Pretty good clean. Oh, good jerk. Very nice. You've had that bandage and the conditioning hoodie for eight years. I've had it for a while. It doesn't get warm much, to be fair. It's a bit of a, the back of the press thing. <laughs> Tom Miller, yeah. So pregnancy doping was the thing in East Germany. It's actually crazy, the increase in performance. Yeah, you get uh, real high levels of nandrolone in the blood. I remember one of my athletes was doing CrossFit, and uh, all her numbers were flying up. And I was like, something's going on here. And then she said, there, I need to meet you at the gym to have a little chat. And I was like, oh, obviously, she started doping and wants to tell me that officially. And then uh, it turned out she was pregnant. 
incre- incredible increases in performance. Oh, that is... Is that the second or third bomb out? I don't know the... So, Imperial bombed, Zany bombed. Who else bombed? Oh, oh Lee Sang. I forgot about Lee Sang. Uh, Lee Sang hit 148 for one out of three on the snatch, which is a good snatch number, I suppose. Gareth, what's your bets here for the Turkish lifter who isn't Uzbek? I asked Dr. Steph... Um, well, she's young, clean jerk. He said he won't ruin the surprise. Oh my goodness! So they've been working very hard for the last two years. Oh, Yusuf, come on! No, I, in Yusuf's position there, Griff, there's absolutely no way you're pulling that. He's not in the right weight class or the sport. No. This isn't his sport for him. That's not him. Oh, <gasps> the big dog is out. Here he is. He's out early, isn't he? Yeah, 191. Get a total on the board, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, dead right. Got I'm all about it. Imagine he power clean this, like the, yeah, he will. the days of yonder. Oh, the problem with this is he could literally miss this or destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no in between here. Like, this could be like... And both are equally possible. Okay, she's young out for first attempt at 191. Come on. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous again. Got the Xi Jiang lean to the left. Okay, oh. clean kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think we're going to see 205. No way. No way, Griff. Yeah, and Seb just agreed with me. <laughs> He's just happy to make that. Geez, that does um oh fake a back injury. Then. We we copped more flack over that statement about Lou than we have for most things we've ever said. People haven't let that go years later. Yeah. One ninety one. So we got one ninety one plus one sixty five. Fast Matt, what's that? Boom 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 boom. Three, two, one, three fifty six. You're if you hadn't been making the moon moon noises, I probably would have. Rat, 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 rat. Snatch one sixty. Was it just one sixty? Yeah, just. You know what? They need a live leaderboard on these streams. Oh, she still needs to make up a lot from that. Imagine like... rage to be watching a soccer match without the scoreboard in the top left corner. Now you're giving weightlifting way too much credit here. No, but like there needs to be a scroll at the bottom. Risky up uh, with his first attempt at 192. Should be pretty good for him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. The old Ilya back foot first. Uh, Ethan quoted one of our best quotes ever, which is all weightlifting is is taking steroids and hurting your back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, probably back. The lads are saying there actually is live scoreboards. This is what happens, lads. Owen arranges things, Owen puts the thing up, and then doesn't give us a live scoreboard. <laughs> I'll stay here till I pass out, and you look stupid then. <laughs> <laughs> That's what will happen. Also, who's the graphic designer? Yeah, you, you look stupid. <laughs> But they put IWF World Cup in blue on a blue background. Come on, lads. That's obnoxious. Back out for first attempt. 192. In the after dinner, I did a song. What? Adidas. Adidasler. Lishtungs. Oh. There it is. Okay, pretty good clean. Yeah. Good jerk, usually. Red lights. No, no, it's all good. Eh, eh. No. Eh, eh. 
Nice. Oh, he thought he was under pressure there. You should never he give us <laughs> never give the judges anything. You walk away cheering every time. Yeah. If you clack the clean, you walk away cheering. Oh my god, yeah. You were so like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Or the funniest is if you get a red light and you're like this. Yeah. Well, that doesn't really work. No, but it still gives the impression like that you'll come there and fight them. Yeah. Got the Halo inhaler for Wichuma. Uh, lads, just so you know, you can't post links in YouTube comments. It just won't let you post the link. So tell people where to go, but you can't post the link. Just Google IWF scoreboards. That is way too obvious. <laughs> so we've got We're a Farm, We're a Phone from Thailand. Was Thailand ever colonized? I don't know. You know, we were, Ireland was one of the longest like occupations. Really? Yeah, in history. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I think he's all right. No, he's okay. I'd say he's oh okay. Oh my god. Oh, he's not happy. Jay yeah, nearly broke his wrist. That could have been grim. It's a heavy opener for him. It's the problem with that static start in the clean is that you just don't get enough barbell power and speed unless you're Chan Tao or someone. Yeah. It's really hard to get that initial force because and the cleans you're looking for a maximum, not maximum speed, but a faster speed off the ground compared to the snatch. Obviously you have less time because the shorter distance of contact, shorter barbell height ideally. So you need to get it moving faster sooner. And obviously because it's heavier, you have to put more work in. So that static start is is a problem. Massonori out for 192, five kilo jump from his first attempt. This is his second attempt, 192, 187 was very good attempt. So I think we're going to see a pretty good attempt here at 192. He's dense. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice clean. Very nice. Very good jerk in the first one. So I'd say we'll see the same in his ASIC, ASIC, ASIC lifters. Very nice. Very easy jerk. Vince is asking, what do you think about bending your arms uh, to contact? Bending your arms to contact the bare lower abs instead of thighs. Definitely don't bend your arms. Bending your arms is terrible. Uh, Seeker pre-workout is on hold for the foreseeable future. Uh, unfortunately, too many other things have taken precedent. Too many irons in the fire. His position is so straight, isn't it? He's holding the hook grip overhead as well in the yeah. jerk. Okay, we're a fan with Chuma out for his second time at 193. Nearly broke his wrist on this. There's the frog. There it is. Nearly broke his wrist on the the first attempt. Is the frog meme not like an incel Reddit thing? No, that's... Or am I thinking of a different meme? Peppy the frog is what you're thinking. Yeah, of. yeah that's that meme, I think. You know what would be terrifying though is that imagine if there was frogs that size in real life. Yeah, goodness gracious. And they There's were something like the frogs in Ireland. And they were predators of humans. Oh. Toothless predators. Yeah, but you just get you get whipped by a tongue and you're sucked in. Oh, it's one of those reach out and touch your frogs. Nah, yes. Hey, there he is. Oh goodness gracious. Ah, for fuck's sake, we're fun. Imagine how much fun hunting them with a double barrel or a pump action or something. It'd be some really heavy load. Oh, one of those big old safari rifles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. That would be class. Frog tastes good as well. You get a big old roast out of the legs. My God, yeah. If they were that size, mm. that's like a kangaroo leg. Like. Problem is if you miss though and they jump at you, like, like if they had corresponding improvements in their jumping ability, like it, uh, it was proportional. But you're, if you the frog jumping, the height of frog, could jump but it was six foot tall they're jumping 40 feet in the air like that's what i mean imagine them just coming down you're just like hey, uh, yeah, that's crazy no there's no way you're taking a moving shot on one of those just like fucking blackout <laughs> heaviest load you can get come on we're fun some weird anime blanket the, the furry blankets or something else aren't they i was never a man for the blankets on camps to be honest no Mostly I was a man for the chocolate and bananas in between. <laughs> nummies. <Little> nummies. <laughs> Get some nummy in my tummy. It's crazy you just skipped a whole weight class. <laughs> That's because I held myself back for so long. I held myself back for European juniors. And then my body went. 
Boom. We are fun coming out for a third attempt to win 93 in a couple of seconds. Two minutes isn't that long after. No. Two minutes is not that long. Does anyone know if Thailand was the colony before? I feel like Thailand was a colony of someone. One ninety three. Come on, I'm rooting for We're Fun. Yeah. So we've got Lee Sang hasn't come out yet. Back, Hu Zhu has still two attempts to go. Xi mm-hmm. Zhang has two attempts to go. That's insane. Rizki has two attempts to go. Ratmat has three attempts to go. So we've still the big dogs left. We're Fun was obviously hoping to get in there with the one ninety two opener, but he has screwed that for himself. Got a little she's young lean going on. You know what I'm worried about? Go on. Is Lee the Sang... economy inflation? No. Go on, Mike. Don't worry about it. Lee Sang missing lifts in training and the amount of lifts he's missed at 190. Do you think there's a relationship between your consistency in training and on the competition platform? Well, I'm, I'm what I'm thinking right now is we're at 194 now. And that's his, back. And that's his PB, his brand new PB. Brand new PB out the gates. Out the gap. Like. The shine hasn't worn off that PB yet, and he hasn't even opened. <sighs> Bombing hometown bomb is not good. It's not it's nice. For Weirvan? Yeah. Yeah. So that static starts. Get it out of there for clean. But I want to know is why he's not wearing the knee sleeves. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> that would help a bit. <laughs> Okay, there Lee saying, Lee, what are you doing opening at this weight? Come on now. What's going on, like? Thailand avoided colonization, but had the British and the French around it. They did maintain autonomy, though. There was this the one spot in South Asia. It's all the brothels. Thailand has a royal family as far as I They do. Isn't that branded tourism kind of weird? Yes. Very strange. Sorry, absolutely. I thought you meant royal family. (laughs) 195 for Lee's opener. Come on now. Get up. What's going on? Like, why was that? One kilo over your PB. Just hit three weeks ago. Goodness oh gracious. my god, Lee Sang Yang. We're all here. We all want to see you doing well. But also, that's not a fail out of the blue. That's how all his jerks are failed. That back leg sinking. At least the clean looked pretty easy. Yeah. That's some going to clean that 195 out on your first attempt, which is a brand new PB. Yes. Oh, Lee. So Ratmat has 195 done as his opener. Whether he'll come out for it now, I wonder. She still needs a big clean and jerk. And I think... See, the thing is... Even if she wins this and Ratmat has a bad day, they know Ratmat's capable of very good yeah. days. And they'd have to be super confident that she... She is capable of more in training. I'm going to say it as well. She's 191 was not... The easiest looking lift. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. No, that's an easy looking lift. Rat Matt just nuked 195. <laughs> he just. EC 130. That just took the words out of my mouth about making a lift not look great. Holy shit. Rat Matt came out for first time 195 and absolutely nailed it. Like, he, compare that to She's 191. He, and d- it's... he just dropped six ton of democracy on that. <laughs> oh. She's young. 195. I'm not confident in this 195. No. I'd be 50 50 on this, and I'd be just as surprised either way. He's a ferocious honey badger, though. I think he, he could smash this. What I could see happening is he misses this and then comes about for his third and annihilates something. <sighs> oh, come on, she. Come on now. Come on.
Good show. Okay. Oh, that was a better clean. That was a much better clean. Oh, come on. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. He knows it as well. I say he's going to go 200 or something and just give it a go. No. There's no point in making 195. He has to beat Ratman for the team. Twi- he oh, is not going to learn. Pain. One boss to that Halo inhaler and he will be. She missed. Yeah, she missed his second attempt at 195. Clean was pretty good. Not as good as it could be, but it was solid. But uh, Jerk was. But I won't say nowhere near. It was not close. The worrying thing, it's a jerk that he fails in that way every time. Like it's par for the course. Okay, back. Who's you? South, who you? South Korean lifter, 73, 95. Second attempt. Got them hook grip knee sleeves. Hook grip, great, great stuff. Don't great they? stuff, yeah. Yeah, really good stuff. Lasts for a long time. Really high quality stuff all the time. You, you never see them just stocking stuff for the sake of it. Go on. Go okay, on. good clean for back. Good yes. jerk. Oh, nice. Very good jerk. That was great. What a good jerk. Second attempt. Don't celebrate too much or you'll lose all the fairies for your third attempt. <laughs> One ninety five. That was a really good clean and jerk. That must be a comp PB. That's definitely comp PB. Oh, that's back. so surely. Good, yeah. Have you seen somebody's comment? No, I didn't look. <laughs> okay, so we've got two attempts left from Risky, two attempts left from Rat Matt, one attempt left from back, two attempts left from. Lee has pulled out. Oh, Lee Sang has pulled out. Missed his opener at 195 and didn't. Oh, no, has he not? No, I don't think he has. No, he has it, eh? Why, why is he down the bottom? Maybe that's incorrect. Maybe. Okay, if not, it looks like he's going 198. <laughs> that, how is that possible? It's last chance, I suppose. Last chance or all. Okay, she's young, 196. I don't think. I'd say we'll see a pretty good clean here, but I... I think he can make this. I'm actually, I think he could smash this. It's your squat jerk, you just have to get it behind your head and you've made it. I'm, it's an interesting choice because I would have thought he'd want to go for a big win. Okay. Oh, that's a hard oh. clean. Take a second, she. No. 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 Can't they just blast them full of peptides and fix whatever injury's wrong? <laughs> Jeez, that's our last Wu Cho. What's the Wu Cho thing? Are you for real? 100%. We cover a weightlifting every week. Yeah. Wu Cho is the thing he says when he's cursing when he's lifting. Oh, is that what it is? There, you've, we've been doing this for I six years. I knew he was years. cursing, but I didn't know that's how you pronounce that. Wu Cho. Is this the last comp we'll ever see? She's young, and I wonder. Okay, Lee Sang didn't pull out the live scoreboard light. For some reason, he's going up. No, she made one clean and jerk. He made 191. Ninety-eight for Lee Sang second attempt. What's going on? Like last chance, right? Does he just <laughs> he's want the big clean? Maybe he wants the bomb. Oh, Lee, what are you doing? Okay, Lee just missed his second attempt at 198. What's that decision process like? Tom is asking about the Andrew Huberman thing. Um, 
Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I was watching a lot of his friends came out and defended him. Uh, he hasn't said anything. Seems like his base don't give two Fs. They don't care at all. I think people who are supporting Andrew Huberman do not care about that. But his thing is largely a male base and seeing a man do that is unlikely for most men to do something that'll annoy them. Certainly some women might be turned off possibly and obviously a certain percentage of men of course but by and large I think the type of men who are watching him don't particularly care if I had to guess. Lee sang with the parcel chalk bag. Coming out for a four kilo clean and jerk PB, but no attempts made on the clean and jerk. One snatch made. What's this like? Oh, Lee Sang has bombed, missed tr- two cleans and one jerk. I want to see him succeeding more than pretty much anyone else in this class. I actually, no, I actually, I, I don't. You don't? No, because he did this to himself. But that's that's why I feel disappointed, because he did th- he does this to us. No. No, he deserves that the way he's training. Did you like the Dune film? I was actually watching Dune 1 again last night when I was doing my cardio. Uh, they do a really good job of the Atreides fall. That was a really good scene or like obviously a massive chunk of the film, but I thought it was very good. I'm kind of, I haven't seen Dune 2 yet because uh, it's hard to get out to the cinema as a parent. Not that it matters that much, but it's uh, low on the list of priorities. So I'm waiting for a high quality Dune 2 pirate to come out. <laughs> but I, I'm concerned. I heard they've changed um Paul's partner's name. Some reactions. So I hope they didn't go change the actress. No, no, no. What the character in the book did compared to the movie, but I'll wait and see. Oh. Go on back. In part two. Back out for his third attempt at 199. Back's been pulling it. I think he left it all on the second attempt, to be honest. Come on. Prove Garf wrong. Geez, he gave that a valiant effort, Gar. Valiant effort. He left it all out there. I don't know it was 195 enough, though. Yay! I'm delighted. Yeah, very happy. Back to who section the new show. Back doesn't upload enough training footage for us to actually put in anything. To be honest, Lee will redeem himself if he squats to 80 in my eyes. Yeah. It's Lee's training is so entertaining to watch, and he's so jacked. Lee Ning. Rizki. Second attempt. Is it so, second attempt? So he's wearing a Lee Ning singlet <laughs> with, with an ant. Uh, are you sure that's Anton not leaning again? Leaning the fella at the bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, are they both leaning? Are they? No, it's an ant uh, top apparently. Lads, can... come on, that is copyright two hundred one. Come on now, so risky. I like the double arrows pointing in behind. I'm not sure he's making this. That one ninety five clean wasn't the best. Goodness gracious! How does he stand up so easily when he can barely move it off the ground? Knee valgus. <laughs> oh my yes. god. 201. Give him hold that it, lift. Hold it. Yes. Yeah, that's a good lift. Yes. Sorry, I keep banging this. Jesus, lads. Wes, who said phenomenal leaning pronunciation? Yeah, thank you. Phenomenal. I think Lee's, or well, she's, sorry, she's best numbers. We've seen some of his heaviest numbers. So we've seen like 205 and 172 or something. They're on his Instagram if you go look. Oh, why couldn't she be she of 2019, 2020? <laughs> Tom, Tom says, as somebody who spends a lot of time around shysters and probably is a shyster, Hooverman has a powerful shyster musk about him. <laughs> Uh, 
the problem is if you fly that high for so long, eventually mm. someone's going to spoof. Jeez, what a... What is Indonesian cuisine? Um, a, is it similar to Thai food? Yes. I don't think I've ever had Indonesian specifically. I've eaten food there, but I, yeah, we kind of similar. Look, whatever I'm going to say, Garf, will sound like I'm just being racist about it. So I, I think Asian has the best cuisine. My personal favorite. Most like Thai food, Japanese food, South Korean barbecue, Korean chicken. Yeah. Japan, very good. Japanese diners, ramen, <sighs> Stop it. sushi, uh, dim sum. Do you want to delighted food. I'm not there now? Because yeah. I wouldn't be able to eat any of the food. Yeah. No, I'm actually going to say Asia blows the rest of the world's cuisine out of the water. Oh, there's some the big US barbecue, though. Nah. The big US meals. They're as unreal. A, as a collective, like Asian cuisine is like far better. Like yeah, it is. Texas barbecue is one thing. No, but like Southern food in the States. You just, you want white bread. And, yeah, I do, Gus. I want grits. <laughs> and boiled shrimp. Oh, stop it. Risky coming out for 203 on, on his third attempt. Absolute nut buster on the second one. But surely the nut hath been busted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, the, you can only pull a barbell slow, slow <laughs> before it gets just too heavy to get under. <laughs> At which point the barbell must be pulled slower. <laughs> you can get under it eventually. Here, that 201 kilo clean and jerk was a phenomenal lift. But you know what sucks now is, let's say he's going to the Olympics. This is start of April, May, June, July. Like he's got May, sorry, April, May and June. Yeah. And a half of July. Like he's got yeah. three and a half more months of like gargantuan training at him. Yeah. And you're expected to do more than that at the Olympics. How? Right. We're seeing 206 going on the bar for Rizki or for Rizky for a rat mat. An absolute joint F you to she. Rat mat looking six feet tall, but I suspect he is not. <laughs> Halo and there's healer. A, there's a great family guy line that we could say here, but it, you just cannot say it. You cannot say it. Mind duck, as Rat Matt's walking out here, says, saying Lee Sang is kind of like saying Christ Bale instead of Christian Bale. But you have to understand that this is two Irish lads trying to pronounce names from all over the world. We're barely getting by lads. <laughs> We're doing our best. Also, his Instagram handle is Lee Sang. Yeah. Come on, Rat Matt. Jesus. Holy yeah. mo! Oh! Oh! <sighs> he looks rattled. It's the first time I've ever he seen him look rattled. rattled. He's normally very zen. So, Risky has made 201 and 164. So, Ratmad made 160 and he needs to make this 206. Like, I, would still, I would still send Ratmat. Yeah. It's yeah, much easier yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's much easier for him to make that. In, in Paris, and clean up his snatch than it is for Rizky to make a massive clean and jerk progress. Four or five kilos minimum. Yeah, it does make no. sense. Ratman has to go, even if he doesn't make this, unless they have some bet on. And the loser has to give up weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> loser has to give the winner their shoes. Oh man. Okay, Ratman is coming out for 206 again. Okay, good clean. Oh, first arc team you've seen. Oh, holy oh. shit. He nearly dropped that. Holy fuck. Oh. Nah, it's over. It's all over. Holy shit. He's still standing here with his chest. Oh, no. He missed. Nobody saw this coming. I did not think, no. Oh, man, is he hurt? Oh, shit. Is no, he, I, I'd say he probably got faint from holding the bear for so that long. That bear nearly fell off his chest? Yeah. Holy. A, uh, I hope he's all right. Lads, I did not see that coming. Risky's our winner. Nobody saw this coming. Oh, so we just said there he had 90 seconds rest left. He came third. She's young, beat it by a kilo. Holy. Oh, my God. Lads, one of that's just on the point of back pulling out an absolutely massive performance. Yeah. 
Jeepers, creepers. So Rizki has won. She's young, came second. <laughs> you see this? You nearly had us there. Lads, what's... What the fuck, guys? What's going on? Holy moly. I really did not see that coming. No? I did not think Rizki would do it. Why did he go so fast? He had so yeah. much time left. That's so stupid. I still think Ratmat's a better choice to send for Indonesia. It's much easier for him to to repeat some of his best lifts and clean up his snatch than it is yeah. for Rizki to, yeah. to improve a bigger clean and jerk, I would think. He's doing on the minute cleans with 206 kilos. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, that's crazy, lads. That's some proper weightlifting drama. So there we have it. We've got Xi Jiang in second and Risky winning by nine kilos. <sighs> Holy moly. Sorry. Yeah, nine kilos. And he beats. Rat Matt by 10 kilos. I would not have said that. So 160, 195, far below Rat Matt's best capacity. She's young, probably having a good day despite his injuries. So 165, 191. And then Risky having an absolute stellar day with 164, yeah. 201, missing 203. I still think Rat Matt's a better decision for Indonesia to send because, you know, he can easily make those clean jerks and he's shown us loads. He's done so many good competitions. Um, So. I I personally wouldn't be sending Risky. No. Unless there's some insider information from training him, obviously. My God, lads, what an exciting class. Uh, people are asking about if we're doing more live streams. If there's stuff on at good times, we probably will. I'll probably do 89s on Saturday by myself. It's on at one o'clock again. So at the same time, I'll do that on here. And then the super heavies will probably do. Probably. Oh, no, 102s, 89. When are the 102s? They might be Monday. The 102s will be a fantastic class. But we can't move the new show. <laughs> no, we're not moving the new show. It's uh, every Monday. What is it? IWF World Cup. That was what an upset. So we're seeing... Holy moly. Jiminy Jimmer. That's some good old-fashioned drama. Not helped... Uh, look, I'm going to say it. Not helped by... Lee Lee Sang should not have bombs there. Okay, so let me just check the dates 89 89s eight. are tomorrow. No, 89s are oh, sorry, that's DNC group. 89 A group is Saturday. 102 A's are on the 8th Monday. Eight. Yeah, Monday. Okay, we'll probably do the 102s. That'll be a great class. Although, is Akbar gone over? We'll still have Li Wanwa, Li Wanwa, and Miso, among others. And the Super Heavies are next Thursday. Next Thursday. How long is this camp going on for? CIWF World Cup Tournament. Doing. IWF World Cup Tournament, World Cup, President's Cup. Don't cup the president. His back is fine. <laughs> 89 kilos. So that's on Saturday. Okay, I'll probably do the 89s. It's Misha. Thanks very much for tuning in. My God. What an upset. What an upset. Like the stream before you go. Just yeah. appreciate it. And send it to your friend or your mom or something. Just like it before you go. Yeah. Like it. We really appreciate it. Go on, like it. There's 237. There's 237 on right now and only 117 of you have liked it. 118. Thanks very much, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Yeah. Did not see that happening.